Hi everyone, my name is Cammie. I'm so excited. It's our weekly Wednesday vlog and I've had a couple questions come in this last week and interestingly enough, they're kind of the same. So if this is your first time here, go ahead and like this channel because we're going to come back at you every Wednesday and I'm excited just to share some leader leadership tips, business tips that I've learned over the years and I'm not sure exactly what your role in leadership is but I'm excited to share what I do know and I think we can learn together. So feel free to email me any questions you have at cami at callingallleaders.com or you can go ahead and comment below and we will look at that as well. So the question this week was how to keep your team motivated, how to keep them excited to feel connected, and what kind of information do you make sure you know about your team? And I thought this is a great question because I'm kind of a touchy-feely kind of person. I'm a nurturer. Uh, that's the big sister coming out in me, probably the mom too. But I would say get the birthday of the individual, find out some of their interests. Um, I would also say, you know, get to know the, 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 their kids and their husband's information. I think that that's just so important to build connection and continue to build relationship. Cause at the end of the day, you know, being an entrepreneur is we're, we're in the business of people. And, and I think people are our number one product, our number one tool and I just think we've got to invest in our people and I think at the end of the day it's those personal touches that add to things. One of the other questions that came in was simply I go to all the events, I do everything I'm told, I, I get people um, excited but what do I do to keep them motivated and uh, or what am I missing that's not that it's just not growing faster or more people aren't uh, doing more and I think again it comes down to your people it's getting to know your people getting to know why they're doing what they're doing why they're in the role that they're in with you and help how you can help them you know just pursue their passions according to whatever they're doing and so again it's about investing in our people and getting to know them and caring about what makes them tick and caring about their life and sometimes I think someone comes in in a bad mood and we think oh what's wrong with them I think, hey, ask what's going on. You know, maybe they got a ticket on their way to work. Maybe they, uh, somebody passed away in their family or there was, you know, I just think we can never put in that personal touch too much. At the end of the day, uh, success of any group business uh, is the people. And I think we've got to take care of our people because they're our uh, number one priority and they're what makes the world go round. So I hope you're having a great day. I can't wait to connect with you again here next week. Be sure to invite other people in leadership roles or doing business to our channel so we can all learn and grow together. Have a great day, everyone. Skylar, do you want to say goodbye to everybody? Where are you at? Goodbye. Woo!